This week everyone got to relive being confused at school once again by a maths GCSE at Excel question. By the looks of Twitter, nobody who was in the exam knew what was going on. We're going to try and explain exactly how to work it out. Here's the question as it appeared to the confused students. Uh, Hannah has six orange sweets and some yellow sweets. So overall she has N sweets. If you can imagine those sweets then get put in a bag and the probability of her taking two orange sweets back out is a third. On the basis of that, the students were then asked to prove that N squared minus N minus 90 equals zero. Or rather, sorry, no, oh, I'm confused now. Uh, we know there are six orange sweets and N sweets in total, so when she takes one sweet out, then it's orange, there's five orange sweets and N minus one total sweets. But then obviously the chance of her getting a second orange sweet is reduced which means that we have to times these two together, which is 6 over n, 5 over n minus 1. That gives us 30 over n squared minus n. But we already know that that is equal to a third, which means that we can make uh, the two denominators the same by timesing that by 30, sorry, um, which gives us 30 over 90 is equal to n squared minus n, which means we can put the n squared minus n down here equals to 90 by knocking the two 30s off. Uh, and then we can put the 90 as a minus on the other side of there, which means it equals zero. And that gives us this.